I'm Cody Fisher uh, from Delaware, Ohio. I have a 2006 Dodge 2500. The truck uh, has a 6.7 uh, Cummins in it. It's a deck plate motor from D&J Precision Machine. Uh, so pretty much we have a one inch longer rod in it uh, with a, you know, a deck plate. It's got a big intake on it, a big set of turbos. Uh, it's got an 85 on the manifold and a 4.2 uh, you know, whole set HX82 based uh, turbo out front. Uh, it's got extra G fuel system on it. It's a 14 mil CP3 uh, single pump. So there's only one injection pump rather than you know two or three like a lot of other guys run and a set of 400% injectors. It really is, uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, you know, the truck still weighs 6,400 pounds. Uh, it's got factory AC, like all the factory AC lines and everything with compounds. So that was kind of a big thing to do, at least in my part. You know, I wanted to be able to drive the truck on the road a bunch. Still has full factory bed. It does have a factory frame four link on it. Uh, so it, we took the leaf springs off and put a four link on it. Something that we could tune, you know, per track. Like this week, it was, not a very good track. There's a lot of slime and uh, it was just greasy with the weather, obviously. So uh, I was able to, you know, do a bar change and actually make the truck go. So like today, we won a good number of rounds with it. It actually has, which I don't recommend it, but um, it has uh, factory front and rear axles. Uh, so it's got factory gear sets in it, factory axle shafts. Um, you know, the pumpkin's welded in the back, so it doesn't want to roll over, you know, roll the tubes in it. Uh, but other than that, and then, well, it has a, so trans-wise, that's got a 48RE transmission in it. Uh, right now it has a R&D, like it has a, uh, an aftermarket 48 case in it. Uh, it's got a DPC converter in it. Converter in it. Uh, it's a full manual valve body now, uh, so it's shifted, uh, you know, with nitrous, you know, it's an air shifter, uh, just to be more consistent. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the truck for the most part. Um, it just, it likes to, with the weight and the power that it has to make to run this class, uh, it is a lot harder on transmission parts than a typical truck in 590 that's, you know, a tube chassis truck or a fiberglass truck. Right, because that's the thing, like, a lot of the 590 trucks are like... The yeah, they're pretty much pro, yeah. They're pro, they're pro street, they're pro street trucks turned down. So, you know, they have, you know, they got a 2,500 pound advantage on me. You know, 590, it's an outlaw class, so you can weigh whatever you want. And uh, with me still being obviously you can weigh whatever, you don't have to meet a weight limit or you know the weight restriction. Uh, so with it being so much heavier, there's some guys that are weighing 
you know, 4,000 pounds with them in it. You know, I'm 2,500 pounds heavier than them. So, you know, I gotta make a hefty amount of power to run the number. We do uh, like no time, no prep stuff too. Uh, not, a, not as much this year, uh, just time on my end of it. Uh, but, you know, we've, run, we've been, the fastest the truck's been, it's been a 570 uh, at 129 mile an hour. Uh, so we've, we've hit the 130 mile an hour mark, but it, we are just struggling a little bit as far as on the trans side of stuff to be able to push it farther. So uh, it's been quarter mile times. It's been, uh, it went in 860 at 164 uh, last year. So, you know, it's been, it, it back has pretty good. This year's kind of weird. Like next year we have some different stuff planned for some different uh, adventures that we're getting into. So um, I'll probably still race it. I'm probably gonna, you know, I, it'll still stay in its same trim. I mean, I'm not gonna obviously turn it down to go slower, um, but as far as going faster, I mean, really, you either have to cut it up at this point. I mean, that's pretty much where you're at. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna kind of switch up some of the events that I'm doing. Like I really wanna do Rocky Mountain Race Weekend uh, with a couple of buddies uh, that also have similar trucks and we're gonna do that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of just, it's gonna be kind of just its, its thing just to be heavy and fast. We have our YouTube channel, Firepunk Diesel, which obviously that's the shop I work at. Uh, and then I kind of have my own thing, uh, just 1X Precision, uh, which is a, pretty much just a welding brand, uh, do you know merch and all that kind of stuff. So either Instagram, Cody at 1X Precision or Cody Fisher on Facebook. So that's probably where you can find me or Firepunk, either which I'm all over all of them.